All right, let's finish up this tutorial. There may be one more video after this, depends on how much I get through of this one here. Um, we're gonna import a few sounds. And uh, I'm going to import, oh, where did I put these? I've forgotten. Um, downloads and new DLs and platform, platform, resources. Um, I'm gonna import the kill character sound. So SND kill player and hit OK and I'll import the other one SND kill monster and import that and I may as well import the other ones while I'm here since we'll use them later SND level import that what does this sound like hmm, nothing I'm not sure if I've got my audio uh, recording onto the video uh, obviously, you'll be able to hear my voice, but I'm not sure if you can hear the system audio. And let's see, sound. What's this next one? Mushroom. Okay, so I've got all those sounds in there. And we're going to create a new object. Um, object monster dead. But before I do that, I need to import a new sprite. SPR monster dead and load sprite it's going to be a dead monster it should be that one monster flat okay click OK and object monster dead is going to use that sprite there object monster dead and object monster dead is going to have some very simple scripts attached to it add create and set alarm with a number of steps, 10 steps. And then when that alarm goes off, I think we want to destroy this monster, destroy this object. Okay, and that'll be all for that. Now we're gonna go into the object character. What we want to do, if you've ever played Mario, you can walk into the monster and you'll die. But if you're jumping on it, uh, then you'll squash the monster. So in order to do that in here, what we need to do is we need to figure out is the princess falling onto the monster and is she above the monster and if so uh, then we'll squash the monster otherwise she'll die so that's what we're going to do here we're going to add an event a collision event with the object land monster okay we only have to do it with the land monster because the other monster um, we might we might make it so that you can't actually kill the flying one who knows okay so what we're going to do here is we're going to check a few things. Now, if you're working from the book, it asks you to test an expression. Um, I'm gonna do it a little bit differently here, just because I wanna break it down and make it simpler. What we want to do is we wanna check if the vertical speed, that's the speed that the character moves, when she jumps up, she goes negative 10, but because there's gravity, it's constantly pulling that down and you can see here that the vertical speed will reach a, a maximum or a terminal velocity of 10 going down. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that the vertical speed is greater than zero, basically. She's falling down. Okay, so she's not jumping up into the monster. She's falling down. So we can do that with this. Check. V speed is greater than zero. Okay, and then we want to check. Um, is the other monster and I'm not sure if we can actually do that in here check object so the collision with the object land monster I can do that here check other that's that one there and it's y value plus 8 uh, yeah y plus 8 no, it's Y value and is less than, hold on, that's weird. What am I doing? Um, I want to check my self and I want to check other dot Y plus eight. Okay, now this is a bit hard to, to get your head around. I want to check if the character's Y value is um, less than, so in other words, it's above it, is above the other character. Okay, so I want to make sure that the monster's below it. That's what I'm saying. Um, 
there's probably there might be another way to do that so let's just check here and see check object object land monster is below it relative okay I think that this might work as well so if this is true then it will check is this true and then it's going to do this stuff in here now I'm not a hundred percent sure that this will work but who knows we'll try it it seems like it's uh, fairly straightforward logic if we're moving down if the object land monster is below us uh, that's position one so down and we're going to do all this stuff in here okay we're going to put in a comment now these code comments just tell us um, what the code does so this code will destroy the monster okay and I might actually put this here as well okay now it's going to say if this then this and then at the bottom I can put an else okay so I, I can put an else statement down there so if she's contacted the monster but she's not falling down and that's not happening then uh, we will die okay so in here this code will destroy the monster now what I want to do is play a sound in here oops I'll just put it underneath that play a sound kill monster and then set the score we'll increase the score a little bit so that should be under extra no score set score is this one set score to 50 relative doesn't really matter what you send it uh, set it to move fixed and that's going to be set to there so the the monster stops moving um, change instance which is this one here we're going to change this into the flat monster and I think we want to change that to yes and then we end the block and then down here we're going to have an else block okay so we're going to have an else block here and in this one we're going to put that underneath it a start block and an end block and we're going to put some code inside there and in here we're going to put a comment destroy the character and click OK and we're going to play sound kill character oops kill player and now there is no option to sleep okay there is no option to sleep what we can do though is we can see originally if you're reading the booklet um, it says to sleep for one second but what we can do is we can set an alarm for one second which is 30 frames or 30 steps we don't want to use alarms oh, we can use alarm zero here so that's fine and then add event alarm zero we will then uh, restart the room I think it is and that's restart game restart the room is one of these here restart the room and there's no transition effects anymore uh, they were pretty cheesy there might be transition effects if you change rooms I'm not sure no they've gotten rid of the transition effects okay so restart the room with no effect so what's going to happen we will die and then the room will restart let's just test it oops I haven't put those things down there If I fall on that monster, monster's head, I died, um, and that's exactly what I said to happen. Um, because here I should have said change other into a dead monster. okay so there's our dead monster but if I reset the game 
and just run into the monster when I'm not falling down. I get a scream and then the game restarts. Okay, unfortunately there's no way to freeze the game. There might be other ways to do it uh, so that I don't get like this multiple scream effect. But it seems to be working fine. So that's that one done. The next one is treats, traps, and finishing level. Um, that's quite a big one, and I might do another video tutorial for that, but please work through the um, the booklet if you're up to it. If, if you've just finished this video now, you'll be up to part five, treats, traps, and finishing the level, which is this one right here. Okay, so just go through those steps, creating Sprite Mushroom. You'll use the mushroom sound in this one, there's a few sprites to create, so make sure you're reading each of these steps, the explanation, and creating those events in there.